Chris Stevenson spent most of his career as a commercial airline pilot, but recently he started a new job at Cheshire Medical Center in Keene. We call where I work central monitoring. It's certainly not where the 57-year-old expected to spend his work days. Yeah, it's going good, good. good. But he's grateful just to be here. I guess it's got to happen to somebody, but you, you never think it's going to be you. It was November of 2021, in between the Delta and Omicron surge and halfway through Chris's vaccination series, when he got sick with COVID and quickly deteriorated. At that point in time, it was almost certain that if a patient went into, into the ICU, that they would not come out alive. Chris spent more than two months intubated and in a medically induced coma, fighting COVID along with severe complications. We, every day, were like, I don't know if he's going to make it. But he fought hard, and there were glimmers of hope. He was looking around and his heart rate was maintaining more of a stable number. And I, I do remember that day and um, I was like, you know what, I think he's a fighter. With the help of ICU nurse Jennifer Clark and the Cheshire Medical Center team, Chris started to breathe on his own, gain strength and was released to rehab by the beginning of 2022. He's probably one of our first success stories in that in those dark times. At the height of the pandemic, Jen says Chris's recovery was the encouragement her team so desperately needed. It really did help us feel like, you know, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Since then, Jen took on a new role as a supervisor and recently got a call from a colleague referring someone for an open position. I actually was like, okay, who is this person? Who do I, why do I know this name? And then it hit me, I said, my patient from the ICU? And she's like, yeah, wouldn't he be great? And I was like, this is amazing. In his quest to fully recover, Chris decided he needed to give back to the people who saved his life. To see him walking was a miracle. I mean, um, he met me in the hallway and he's like, I don't know whether you'll recognize me. And I was like, yes, I do. He started as a volunteer and in May, he applied to be a telemetry monitor, keeping a close eye on patients through the very machines that measured his vital signs during his illness. I thought, wow, this person's, you know, had, you know, the worst of his days spent in this, you know, facility, and yet he's coming back because he wants to give back to people. Now, Chris admits he misses his life before COVID. I daydream about it, to be honest. So while he works toward flying again, he's finding purpose okay. and joy in the most unexpected place. I want other people to see that there is always hope you know, if you're still here, there's hope. He has made me uh, really appreciate what I do and reinforce that what I chose to do for a career was the right thing. At Cheshire Medical Center, Katherine Underwood, WMUR News 9.